This video will show how to test a gear lever actuator pressure sensor. In the actual pressure test, voltage test and how it works in a gear shifting system. Set multimeter tester to ohms. Connect the negative test probes to the negative supply pin. Check the resistance of the two pins, from the negative supply pin to the output signal pin. There is no resistance. This is an open circuit, and this is a defective pressure sensor. Transfer the test probes from negative supply pin to positive supply pin. 114.3K ohms is a normal resistance for negative to positive pin, but the problem is, there is no resistance from the output signal pin. This open circuit trouble is also happening, because this pressure sensor is using an electronics pressure sensing system. If you have a defective gear lever actuator pressure sensor, then you will have a problem. The gear lever is hard to push when shifting your gear. There is two different pressure sensor, same use but different pin resistance. This is a good pressure sensor and we will show the normal resistance for every pin. Negative to positive pin resistance is 114.9K ohms. Check the resistance from negative pin to output signal pin, 254.4K ohms. Check the resistance from positive to output signal pin, 139K ohms, and this is a good resistance for a good gear lever actuator pressure sensor. Now, check the other type of gear lever actuator sensor. Connect the negative test probe to the negative supply pin. Then check the resistance from negative to output signal pin. This is 114.6K ohms. Compared to the other pressure sensor, having 254.4K ohms resistance on the same pin and test probe position. For the negative to positive pins, resistance is 112.5K ohms. and from positive to output signal pin resistance is 2.178K ohms, compared to the other pressure sensor having 139K ohms. They are not the same resistance for every pin, but they have the same function in the system. Now we will show the actual pressure test of the gear lever pressure sensor, and how it works on the system. This is a manual hydro pressure test pump. Connect the pressure sensor to the pump hose. This is a good gear lever actuator pressure sensor. And this is to show how it works in a gear shifting system. Prepare a power supply to use. You can use a phone charger, ranging 4 volts to 5 volts DC. Make sure the voltage is not more than 5 volts. Connect red wire to positive output voltage of the power supply and black wire to the negative output voltage of the power supply. Check the power supply voltage. 4.285 DC is just enough, but strictly not more than 5 volts DC. Follow this setup to your test leads. Set your multimeter tester to DC.
Connect the negative wire from power supply to the negative test lead of the multimeter. And connect your test leads to the pressure sensor pin on the same test lead position. After connecting the power supply wires to the pressure sensor, then connect the positive test probe to the output pin of the pressure sensor. Make sure that the negative power supply wire is connected together with the negative test lead of the multimeter and plug it into the negative power supply pin of the pressure sensor. Now you can power on the power supply. Check the gauge to make sure that the pointer is pointing to zero. Open the screw valve to release the pressure of the pipe. Now check the voltage reading on your multimeter. 0.229 volt and that is the output voltage of the pressure sensor. When your gear lever actuator is in a neutral position. Now pump it to build up the pressure. Check the movement of the gauge pointer. While the pressure is going high, at the same time the voltage is also increased. When reaching the maximum pressure of 9 bars, the signal voltage of the pressure sensor should also reach the maximum voltage of 2. This means you have a good and working pressure sensor. Now I will show you how important to use a manual pump to test a pressure sensor. This sensor is not working, the gear lever is too hard when pushed to shift the gear. The question is why, if I push a rod inside the sensor, I can also get the 2 volts maximum voltage needs for the signal. Now we try to check the pressure sensor using manual hydro pressure test pump. Connect the pressure sensor to the hose fitting of the pump. Observe the gauge pointer of the pump. The pressure is going high. But the multimeter is not responding. This means that the pressure sensor is not giving a voltage output signal. In this case, we cannot just stop. We will try to find what is the cause of the problem. Why this pressure sensor does not work on actual pressure testing.
Oil is coming out from the pressure sensor. If there is a leak from this rubble seal, the oil pressure will pass going to the back of the pressure sensing plate. Then you don't have an output signal voltage from the pressure sensor, because the compression will run at the back and bypass the electronic pressure sensing plate. Hope this video will help. Thank you for watching.